The simple radius fracture is to be stabilized in the conventional way with an 8-hole 3.5 LCP applied as a compression plate with an interfragmentary lag screw providing absolute stability. The complex ulna fracture will be repaired with an 11-hole 3.5 LCP used as a bridging plate. The procedure follows the principles of the internal fixator and provides relative stability. To apply axial compression, the first screw must be placed close to the obtuse angle of the oblique fracture. When driving home the eccentrically inserted screw in the opposite fragment, the fracture will be compressed and held in place. However, if the first screw is placed in the fragment with the acute angle, the insertion of the eccentric screw will cause the fragment to glide along the oblique fracture line and be displaced. To expose the two fractures, separate incisions, one for the ulna and one for the radius, are preferred. A single incision would need too much dissection. The radius is slightly curved, so the plate must be contoured. The bending template helps to obtain the correct curvature. Choosing an 8-hole LCP requires that the appropriate plate hole already be selected for the interfragmentary lag screw that will be inserted across the oblique fracture. Three holes will lie over the proximal fragment and four over the distal fragment. One hole is left free for the lag screw. The first screw hole is proximal to the fracture and close to the obtuse angle. It is drilled neutrally with the 2.5 mm drill bit through the universal drill guide. The screw length is measured with the depth gauge. The thread is cut with the 3.5 mm tap and the appropriate sleeve. The plate is fixed with the first 3.5 mm cortex screw. In the distal fragment, a second hole is drilled close to the fracture using the universal drill guide in the compression mode to place the screw eccentrically into the plate hole. To do so, the telescopic sleeve of the guide may not be pressed onto the bone. Instead, the sleeve is only held against the smooth end of the DC plate hole. The depth is measured and the thread is cut. The appropriate length 3.5 mm screw is inserted. By driving the screw home, axial compression is created. The first screw is now checked for tightness. To improve interfragmentary compression across the fracture gap, an oblique lag screw is used. First, only the glide hole in the near cortex is drilled with the 3.5 mm drill bit centered with the drill sleeve in the DC hole. The 2.5 drill sleeve is inserted into the glide hole and a 2.5 mm thread hole is drilled in the far cortex. The length is measured. A 3.5 mm thread is cut in the far cortex only. The 3.5 mm cortex screw is inserted. By tightening this screw, optimal compression of this simple oblique fracture is obtained, providing absolute stability. To supplement this fixation, another 3.5 mm cortex screw is added at either end of the plate. 
The five screws should provide sufficient stability in normal bone, although in the case of poor bone, all the plate holes, apart from the hole over the fracture, should be filled.